Okay, good day students. So we are now here in our next topic, which is we need to solve the indicated sum of terms in a given arithmetic sequence. Now, if we're going into involving this kind of problem, please take note that you need to indicate the sum of terms of a given arithmetic sequence. Now, if you're asked to solve a problem which indicated a sum of a given sequence, it means you're solve it by a given series problem. Okay? So, if ever there is you are asked to solve for the sum of a given arithmetic sequence, therefore, you're asked to solve using the arithmetic series formula. Okay? Because a series is actually a sum of a given sequence. So, if you are asked to solve for the sum of a given arithmetic sequence, therefore, that is an arithmetic series problem. Now, one of the indications that that is an arithmetic series or a series because of the variable S. So, if that, that is a series, that is a capital letter. If it's small, small letter, it only indicates a sequence. Okay? So, now, since this is an arithmetic series problem, please take note that we have two formulas for arithmetic series. So, it depends on you. O, kung asa mo comfortable. So, 1 is S sub N is equal to N over 2, a bracket, 2 A sub 1 plus open parenthesis N minus 1, then times D close bracket. The other formula is S sub N is equal to N over 2 parenthesis A sub 1 plus A sub N. So, these are the two formulas, but again, we, we simply arrive at the same answer by using these two formulas. So later on, I will show you that if you're using this formula and using this formula, we will still arrive at the same answer. Okay? One of the few steps in solving the arithmetic series is the same with arithmetic sequence. Find A sub 1, N, and D. Okay? We all know that A sub 1 is the first term of a given sequence. So, A sub 1 in the given sequence is, the first term is 4. Okay? Your N is the number of terms that you added in arithmetic series. What, how many terms that you need to add to find the sum? That is 10. Okay? Because the given is S sub 10. So, this is your N. Okay? The D is the common difference. So, D is... To find the common difference, we just simply subtract the numbers from right going to the left. So, 37 minus 26, you get 11. Am I right? 26 minus 15, you get 11. 4 minus 15, you also get 11. That's why the common difference is 11. So, we try to solve first this formula. Okay? So, let's start. Copy S. Your n is 10 equals n over 2. So, copy n, you get 10 over 2. Bracket. 2. Your a sub 1 is 4. So, parenthesis 4. Plus, your n is 10 minus 1. And your d, your common difference is 11. Okay? So, Para madalika, you can simplify 10 over 2, this first step. So, 10 over 2, you get 5. Then, bracket. You can simplify, what is 2 times 4? You get 8. Copy plus sign. What is 10 minus 1? You get 9. Then, 11 as your common difference. So, we need to simplify first this one inside the parenthesis, uh, the bracket. So, you get 5. So, you can change now to parenthesis. Copy 8 plus 9 times 11. You get 99. Okay? So, therefore, copy 5. 8 plus 99. You get 107. Okay? So, 5 times... 107 is 535. Okay? So, that is the sum of 
the turn term. So again, 5 times 107, you get 535. So we will try to check if we will still arrive at the same answer using this formula. Okay, so S sub 10 is equal to N over 2, you have 10 over 2. A sub 1, okay, your A sub 1 is 4 plus. Now, how do you get the A sub N? That is now the question. So this is one of the things, you no. Know, that we're looking into your a sub n is actually since okay your a sub n is actually equal to a your n is 10 okay am i right so since we are asked to find a sub n or a sub 10 which means that is an arithmetic sequence so which means we are also asked to solve for the 10th term of our sequence okay so before we can solve for the arithmetic series we need to find first the 10th term of our sequence so if we can still remember your a sub n the formula is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d so if you observe from this formula diritso na siya diri kay muagi pa siya og arithmetic sequence so anyway we will still arrive at the same answer no so your a, your n is 10, so a sub 10, the 10th term. Your a sub 1 is the first term, which is 4, plus your n is 10, minus 1, then your d is 11. Okay? So simplify first, 4 plus 10 minus 1, 9, times 11. You get 4. Plus, what is 9 times 11? You get 99. So, 4 plus 99, you get 103. So, the 10th term is 103. So, you put here your 103. Okay? So, 10 over 2, simplify 5. 4 plus 103, you get 107. So, 5 times 107, you get 530. Five. So again, if you observe, we still arrive at the same answer, which is 535. So it depends on you what specific formula between the two that you will use in solving for the arithmetic series.